Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, the Disguise PC LP. This is going to be episode 23, I believe. So, just starting off where we left off last time. Mmm, -mm. nothing beats having tea in outer space. How beautiful the Earth is. It reflects the nobility of my mission. Jennifer, how much longer before we go into hyperdrive? Let me see, Gordon. About, oh, five minutes? I see. Only five minutes until we say goodbye to the Earth. Are you scared, Gordon? Hey, hey, you're joking, right? Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, is afraid of nothing. You, of all people, should know that. You've been along on all my adventures. <laughs> right. Beep, beep, blip, beep. Oh, sorry about that. Of course I didn't forget you, Thursday. Gordon keeps staring at Jennifer's thighs. Pervert, pervert, pervert. Hey, why you? Tea time's over, Gordon. Ooh, we have an incoming transmission. Looks like it's from the Earth Defense Force headquarters. I'm turning on the holographic projector. Hi. You look good, General Carter. So, what can I do for you, Commander-in-Chief? You're moments away from entering hyperdrive. This will be your last contact with Earth. Do you have any messages, Gordon? Let me think. Tell everyone on Earth to have a grand parade ready for my return. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the hot babes and Pizza Shack's teriyaki pizza. We'll see what we can do. I'm sure you don't need me to repeat this, but the Earth's fate is in your hands. We're counting on you. It's nothing I can't handle. How true. I pray for your success, Gordon. Gordon, we're about to go into hyperdrive. Okay, Jennifer. Hyperdrive engine number three ready. All systems go. Now entering hyperdrive. Engage! Engage! <laughs> Episode 9, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. So this is one of the few times where the bullshit end thing is kind of real. Dude, Prince, there's some kind of anomaly in the stellar graveyard. That's a different pretty voice. Invaders from another world? I have no idea, dude. No, it's not. Invaders? Are they angels who are here to take me back? I doubt it. That place attracts a lot of weird things besides stars. Flying saucers, probes, brain suckers, midgets with glowing fingertips. <laughs> E.T. Oh my! That means there may be people who are hurt! Let's go, Laharu! Forget it! It's probably just a piece of trash. Laharu! Jeez, shouldn't an overlord be doing something more important than this? So you can probably imagine uh, who showed up based on the intro to this. Um, so that is one of the interesting things that uh, I had to say. Okay, we have people saying, I'm spinning, but only you get lost. I said that you get there safe. Listen, I'm not a child. Jeez. Okay. So um, th th this is one of the things where it was kind of like, um, what about Disguise 5? Because it seems like it's relatively easy to get to all the different netherworlds and stuff with each with their own overlord. This, but this guy, one, like, kind of posited the uh, netherworld as, like, it's its own dimension, and you have, like, alternate versions of dimensions, and even though there's the human world Celestia, that's all part of one. And for even the, like, humans to get to the Earth, or to get to the netherworld, they have to have, like, a hyperdrive ship. Gordon? Gordon, where are you? And look at this. Like, this is just Japan's vision of an American woman. Oh, this isn't good. Where could he be? Spaceship crashed. Gordon failed to escape. Probably smashed into atoms. Rest in peace. Don't worry, Thursday. He's Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Understood, Jennifer. Activating life scanner. Thank you, Thursday. Always listen to a hot babe. That's the law. Beep, blip, beep. I love 
Thursday. So this is the stellar graveyard. How beautiful. But it looks like the stars are crying. Flan, you're so romantic. I just want to choke you to death. <laughs> Anna, you are choking me. I, I, I can't breathe. Hey, enough of that. Yeah, yeah. Saved by the bell, Flan. <gasps> I hope she was just joking. I almost became one with the stars. So, if you remember... Oh, this is perfect for Wing Slayer, but I don't have it. Um, yeah, this is the entire map. It's just this. So it's really good if you have something that can hit everybody. Um... Honestly, I think that's like I would like literally you just come here like this is the exact spot I think or like here and you just take them out. Um, so I'm going to do this. Just Now they're uh, equal to each other. <laughs> With just that one thing. So that's a pretty good grindy spot. Uh, you eventually just like pass the bills to get the, their levels up. So you can just do that uh, over and over, and over again at slightly higher levels. So on and so forth. I don't think I need to explain it very much more to you. Um, but yeah, so uh, Jennifer, Thursday, Gordon. They're all just like super comic booky characters. <laughs> like, they're almost like perfect representations of what you can imagine Japan thinks like comic book characters are like. Because there's like definitive difference between manga and comics. Because even though manga is Japanese comics, like, there's uh, cultural nuances that are very different between all of them. And you can definitely feel it in, uh, Oh man, that that was honestly pretty close. Uh, you can really feel it in things like uh, sort of like look at the difference between Goku and Superman. Like like Superman doesn't have training arcs <laughs> because he doesn't need them. He has all the power from the get go. But there's also like differences in where the characters came from. Like. Superman has a history because uh, it was, I think it was during like the Cold War or whatnot, or before like World War II, where it was like, ah, gotta have like some someone that we can like believe in and that will protect us, like an overseer type thing, like can handle any problem that shows up and whatnot. And and then like be a good one. It's just like, oh, I just want to feel fucking awesome hype. Like I want to hear that's like an underdog, but never actually an underdog because he's always gonna win. You just see that uh, sort of influence in Gordon, in Jennifer, in Thursday. It's like, oh, look at this American-esque guy with like the hair swirl and being all like, ha ha, look at my smile. You got Jennifer, it's just like literally, yo, look at this bikini babe who's just there and blonde and hot. And you get Thursday who's just a robot. He's the robot sidekick. Um, okay. So let's next map. And if you remember, uh, Valgipus 4, Val Valgipus 4, uh, is the first map in Etna mode. It's the first place to Sense go. any signs of life, Thursday? Unfortunately, no trace of Gordon's biological signature. I see. We have to find him. I heard at headquarters that the netherworld is full of nasty, vicious creatures. If we're discovered... Ugh. I'll be molested by countless slimy tentacles, and my bodily fluids will be sucked dry. Or we could be swallowed whole and suffer a slow and painful death as we're digested alive. Or even worse! Jennifer, please keep your imagination under control. Life signs detected. Readings do not correspond with Captain Gordon's biological signature. Life forms are approaching. Oh, run! 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 
<laughs> Shh. Thursday, be quiet. Oh, shit. That's odd. I thought I heard a voice of a woman. What? Human children in the netherworld? A human? And on top of that, she's... I got it. You were kidnapped by the Overlord, weren't you? Oh, the humanity! I heard that demons are merciless, even towards children. Oh, you poor things. They didn't bite your arms off, did they? They didn't suck your brains out, did they? They didn't anal probe you, did they? That what the hell does she think demons are? But don't you worry. Big Sis will make it all better. No! Get away from me! What? Keep your sexy body away from me! Oh, I understand. You're going through puberty, aren't you? Oh, don't be embarrassed, cute little boy. Everyone goes through that period. Okay, I'll teach you everything there is to know. You see, as young girls mature, their breasts grow bigger, and boys... Great! Now she's teaching sex ed. Who the hell is this lady? Um, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we're not human children. Huh? Well, what do you mean? I am Flan, an angel in training. This is Etna, a demon. And the one you called cute little boy is the Overlord, Laharl. This is outrageous! I can't believe such a cute little boy could be the Overlord. Well, this is completely different from the information provided by headquarters. What's going on, Thursday? Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Now calculating. Now calculating. Now calculating. Now calculating. Calculation complete. What's the answer? Headquarters is a bunch of liars. Oh, no! Does that mean that the Overlord planning to invade Earth is a lie, too? We came here to slay the Overlord, for heaven's sake. There must be some misunderstanding. Wait, did I hear you say you came here to slay the Overlord? Uh, no, 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 not me. That's the responsibility of our hero, Captain Gordon, the Defender of Earth. I'm his assistant, Jennifer, and this is Thursday, the multi-purpose super robot. Beep, beep, blip, beep. Nice to meet you. Hero, you say? Yes, Captain Gordon is the Earth's hero. His noble mission is to vanquish any evil that threatens the Earth. But we were separated from him when our spaceship crashed. <laughs> Very interesting. I must definitely meet this Captain Gordon. Why is that? It is an overlord's duty to challenge heroes. Wow, cool. Woman, follow me. I shall find your hero. Really? But I don't want that sexy body of yours within a three-foot radius of me. Oh, <laughs> as you wish. Okay, let's go look for Gordon. Okay. Even the point of this, maybe for a uh, replay, when there's probably more stuff. Uh, pop you over here. Uh, oh, wait. No, I could make it so these guys can come in. I guess that would be fine, but I mean, I don't really want to. Because I'd rather just kind of deal with them all at once. Okay, please do not go with some groups. Okay, you are not strong enough to kill them anymore. I knew that. Just want to make doubly sure. Okay. Put you over here. Okay, now it's about time that I start using other characters as well. Colossal Fissure. Weaken everyone, nice and good. I'm gonna put Flan right here. Uh, where are you, me too? Eh, I can do that. Here's fire. Hogmizer, what's up, boy? Um, <laughs> just come over here, get you. Yeah, I'm gonna hit 
you up. It's your boy. So, um, I think I can eventually say Thursday better than Jarvis. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think anyone will uh, challenge me on that. Thursday is better than Jarvis. Uh, okay. So the unfortunate thing is, these guys always use Mystic Blast, and they, and this move just goes through everyone. So Laharl and Planera are both dead. Oh god. And these guys are unfortunately at a level where they're actually quite strong, so I kind of do have to be careful now. <laughs> Which sucks that I only realized this at this point in time. That's fine. Fire be good. Give fire. Just gotta make sure. Um, see, the crappy part is, like, the only dangerous people are the, uh, the cat leaves. Yeah. Because they just have so much range. Range. Ah, damn, still doesn't have enough power. Unlimited power. Okay, can I can I kill you with the pretty brush? I am muy curious. Yeah, I can. I level 20. And pop you out just over there to take a hit. These prennies, they're expendable. It only cost one hell to, to uh, reincarnate. So, pretty good. Don't kill Flan. I still need her. I need her to heal people. So, please do not kill. This is the first time in a while that I've actually felt uh, a little bit worried in terms of ability to survive. Um, so I might in fact be uh, grinding.
that. There's a little bit of a, of a stretch. So now I have to take maps kind of more seriously. Not gonna be the same old, uh, just throw the Harl and plein air in there with Flan and they'll survive. Um, could get, yeah, that's not a very much better sword. Um, because right now the Harl has 169. So, gonna try for the roll one more time. Sixty-nine to two hundred. That might be worth it a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sure what else I would buy because I could. I could get a. Could get a new spear, but I'm not sure. All I know is that goes up. I don't know how much up it goes. Which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, I'm gonna buy Lahara another sword. It's always good to Lahara as the strongest character. Uh, wish I could. Wish someone would drop a Devil Ring or a Dark Rosary. Um, I'm gonna check. So, okay, do I have any? Yes. Okay. Got a couple hands. So I'm taking these hands in case um, in case I see someone with something I want and then uh, hopefully one of my characters will have the uh, necessary uh, hit and speed to uh, possibly okay, it's still no friendly kind of killed. Uh, hopefully they have enough speed and hit to steal what I want. And I think I told the story that's how I beat the final oh, boss of this ow, 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 ouch! What a landing! I guess Lady Luck is taking a vacation. That's right! Jennifer! Thursday! Hmm. It appears that we've been separated. They haven't been captured by the Overlord, have they? Even with Thursday's 200,000 horsepower engine, he can't take on the Overlord alone. I can't just sit here. I've got to save them. Jennifer, hang in there. How unfortunately convenient that he went in the exact opposite direction that we would have wanted him to go. Be a bit annoying if I don't take them out. Okay, pop him up. Damn Guess this is fine. Safe distance. And then I'm going to put Edna over here, possibly uh, add her some attacks. It's always good to just sacrifice some people with the hint and not have to worry about damage and stuff. Because for some reason it seems like the AI really likes attacking. Okay, so that is near perfect setup for it. Overlord's Wrath. I'm going to Braveheart him and again Overlord's Wrath. Okay, so they didn't die, but perfect setup for Planar to come in. You saw your job. Overlord. Three. Ooh, but she's a bit higher than him. Okay, in terms of uh, XP progression. Um, we should be able to hit you with at least Giga Wind. Yeah, good, good, good. And then I'll uh, tag you with my 
spear. Oh, that's a lot more map than I thought there was going to be. I didn't think there was that much map. Oh. Still like how plenty of just floats in the air. Um, okay, so that's it. Good to know. Let's take him out. Might as well just take the people I can out right now and then get to the others when they come around. Oh, and that's what these are for. You're supposed to wait for them to come over here and then that makes it easier to deal with any of their shit. So I'm going to start moving some people on these spots. Ooh. Damn. It always sucks when cause you don't get to decide when they counter and when they don't. So it really sucks when they decide to counter and it kills them. It's like, I didn't want you to do that. And I didn't ask you to do that. Quite a bit of damage. Nice. Is that beam? Yeah, that's okay. Wow, that's like the perfect shape of if I put her here and everyone was on all the geo blocks. Um, it's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna put her here. And then let's see, get a fire. I think I did enough damage to all those people. Head <sighs> back down here, but it's not going. Ah, didn't kill Got me surprised. Okay, as long as I can keep them off. Um, fact. might try and throw and unite a few of these guys because they're all on relatively low health and I think I might be able to deal with them. Oh, stop countering. Okay. Fuck. Okay. So he's still on point. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to lift. Now, we get to wind. Hurricane Slash. Yes! Now he's level 36, because I did it smart. Heal. Okay, so now people are starting. Well, Lahar and Planar are getting to the point where uh, Power of Love does not fully heal. It's good. It's not all that good of a heal. It's just a very unique special one. Okay, so we're approaching like 29 minutes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal, I'm going to end it here, I might grind out uh, getting Winged Slayer, once I got it, no, okay, I'll probably look it up, try and grind the Sword Aptitude up until I get it, and maybe grind some levels, I'm not sure, uh, I'll figure it out, because uh, I haven't gotten, I guess I use a Saki Drop more than um, I also grind some better items. Uh, so with that, hope you all have a very nice day, and we'll join you in the next episode, where we'll finish this chapter and start the next one, hopefully. Bye!